dad is to me, um, dad is a role, and father is, can often be just more of a scientific term. He played my father role. I mean, um, my grandfather knew that my mom was a single mom and she had three kids. He said, well, I have one kid, so I have to step up. He wasn't the kind of dad where I thought he was gonna beat some guy up if I brought him home. Um, and you know, he didn't watch sports and he didn't like drink beer or like play golf or any of these things. My dad is 74 years old. 74, 75, yeah. Uh, he's old. <laughs> he has been married four times. He's been collecting children. <laughs> he came over from Haiti in probably the late 1960s, um, early 70s. Uh, didn't have anything really. Just kind of came over with the hope and a dream and, and made it all work. His favorite thing to do was to give you the finger. He'd walk by and all of a sudden he'd go, you go, hey dad, what's up? You go, golf. You know, and he's like, what? What's that for? And he'd just have a big smile on his face. He was a character. I always had a lady friend. <laughs> Always had a suit on. He's a, I think I was about seven when he like snuck me into a casino just for fun. Just to like see what happens. He has a, a bad temper, but it's so bad that it's funny. We'll always make fun of how mad he gets at stupid stuff and usually he makes this face like I remember walking next to him and I was, he always walked really fast and kind of rattled his change. And um, he said, hey, 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 you need to find your own lane because if you trying to keep up with me, you're not in your own lane. Him getting stuck in the pool ladder, his brother comes running down with a, like a stick of butter and starts putting butter on the side and pushing him. I tried to pick up his briefcase and carry it for him and I'd hold it up really high and try, and I'd try to clear my feet so I could shuffle along with it. And I remember being so happy that he was home and thinking about how important he must be, and how hardworking he must be to have such a heavy briefcase. <laughs> my dad, as I know him, is, doesn't long, no longer exists. Uh, my, my dad had a sex change. I respect his change and what he had to do for himself. Who's gonna walk me down the aisle? I, ha I feel like I have two dads, my stepdad and my dad. And my stepfather came to me and he said, I know you're, you're struggling with, and he's a man of very few words, and he said, I know you're struggling with this, but your dad is your dad. And he, you know, he was the one who brought you onto this earth and he should walk you down the aisle and I will stand there and be so proud of you. And it was like literally the sweetest, most like, you know, father-like thing anyone could say. I'm a father now too and I have to tell them all the things that you told me, but hopefully they'll listen uh, and listen a little better than I did. I would thank him for teaching me to measure twice and cut once. I would tell him that, that I love him and that he's an amazing human being. He got to where he is like very, very much on his own and that his daughter is also an amazing human being, but I would, and I can get to places on my own, but I, it would be nice to have, you know, a wingman. <laughs> uh, I miss him, big time. Why does anyone love their dad? You know, you just... I would tell him that everything he said I heard, even if it took me years to hear it. I would tell him I turned out okay.